Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. So here we've got our shrimp. As you can see here, it's already been butterflied, deveined right down the backside here and pulled out. And we're ready to peel. And the important thing is to leave the tail completely attached. So peel this off all the way around and make sure that that stays intact. So it gives you that fused look to the firecracker shrimp. And once you've got a big old bowl like this, you're ready for the next step. We're just cutting little small slits on the inside of the shrimp. This will help it straighten out. And as you can see here, it pretty much holds its shape. It doesn't curl up any longer. And that's what you want when you roll it up. Now spring roll wrappers are often hard to find. So I'm going to use these wonton wrappers starting with the back edge. We're going to roll it halfway over just like so. Then we're going to take the ends here and close it up, pull it over just like a burrito, and roll it straight through. Now what you don't want to forget to do is seal this back edge with a little dab of water. And it seals up just like an envelope with a little pressure. And there you have a firecracker shrimp. Now let's give you a better view here from the side. Again, starting with that back edge, rolled halfway, and then you fold the bottom edge. Seal that back edge with water, and roll it through. With a little pressure, she's good to go. Now, once you get a good old pile like this, you're ready for the fryer. And you're going to go 350 degrees for about four minutes is all it's going to take. But in the meantime, let's make some spicy mayo. Just a little bit of mayonnaise and some shirasha. And as you can see here, they're about done. Go ahead and pull those out because they've got that nice golden yellow color we like to see on our shrimp. And there you have it, firecracker shrimp right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.